It's about at eight uh, something right now. Uh, I'm in bed, as you can see. Um, and usually when I get into bed around this time, I'm usually here for the night, you know, it takes a little something to get out and around. So I had a good night, cooked dinner with Nate and you know, everything was real fun. We kept the kids up a little bit later. And then all of a sudden it takes a turn. I'm sitting here and Nate just walked in. Nate was upstairs and he just said he's been throwing up and he had a bump on his head. And, you know, I just all I could, I could do was give him a hug and a kiss and watch him walk back upstairs or at least out of the room. And I hear Hazel crying and Amanda's up there, you know, with the two of them. And um, all I can do right now is listen and it's challenging to not be able to just go up and help um, and watch one of the kids or give a hug or get some bags to wipe up the throw up or something um, and it's interesting because um, here I am, you know, the sort of not able to get around as much as I would like, and I'm feeling sort of guilty and sort of a sense of loss of not being able to, like, clean up, throw up, you know. Um, and all the meanwhile, internally, my body is um, doing some very interesting things, you know, beyond the... Um, connection, getting the muscles and legs moving, which isn't quite happening right now. Um, my feet are, they feel like they're on fire. Um, this massive tingling, like just, ah. while at the same time, my right foot, when you touch it, is very, very cold. The toes are very cold. And both of them are super swollen that there's edema where you can leave like i don't know a good three quarter inch um thumb mark into it and then i have my thighs is really interesting because it feels like i had a really hard leg workout yesterday and that my thighs are the size of like uh, 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 high jumper or um, a Mr. Olympian, like huge, super sore and big. And then I go to touch them and they're just sort of squishy. <laughs> and it's like, it actually takes my hand a lot longer to touch them than where I feel the sensation of what's happening. So I don't know what is causing all that. Um, and... While all of this craziness um, or um, alterations or changing or moving or whatever this is happening inside my body and this movement and this change and transformation, outside I just sit and listen and think that there's probably something for me to learn there to get out as I as I say it out loud of uh, sitting and listening internally listen to what my body is trying to tell me just as I'm sitting and listening to my kids upstairs and just looking at at the body like kids the different parts you know you think about even not in this condition if you're stomach is aching, if your tooth is aching, if you have pain, your body's telling you something. And like a child that might cry and whine and complain, you should listen because they're, they're trying to let you know something. So just listen, listen to my body, feel the burn. And, um, you know, ultimately I'm sitting here with all that of just appreciation um, to have my son come in so I can kiss his head and go upstairs 
and he feels okay. You know, and I'm able to pick up this phone and talk into it and record it and share it um, and post it and connect um, when I could very well not have the opportunity, ability to do all of those things. Um, to think and to grow, to heal, to heal beyond me. Um, so that's, you know, a definite opportunity. It's really, it's really fascinating, this transition and you're focusing so much on like the thought is like, I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk and walk. So, you know, I had somebody outside today, uh, hadn't seen me a neighbor and was like, uh, so, uh, when you getting out, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, you got to ask the man upstairs and there's so much more to walking or not walking that comes with this whole thing. Um, not only the physical piece, but also the, you know, the mental and the emotional and those other pieces as well that walking wouldn't necessarily solve. Um, and so much that you can do and joy that you can have um, and love that you can experience without walking. So, you know, it's just a matter of, um, I don't know what it's a matter of. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just appreciation to even consider it. To have the opportunity to think about it and to laugh at how you don't know. The great mystery. It's to appreciate the great mystery. And what's available. The dichotomy. And how the good so outweighs the bad. Even though the bad can be really bad. You know, when there's when there's a good, it just wipes it all away. Like the really good. And there's a lot of really good. And a little bit of the lot of really good makes the whole thing so worth it. 